Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Meta's new groundbreaking project, which is called Segment Anything. In this video, we will examine Meta's research paper as well as take a look at the innovative approach to computer vision. With Segment Anything, Meta has given AI the ability to see the real world and identify image pixels belonging to an object, which is a core task in computer vision used in a broad array of applications. We will also explore how this project is demonstrating segmentation as well as reducing the need for task-specific modeling expertise, training computing, as well as custom data annotations for image segmentations. We will also go through demos as well as installations and in how you can actually use this new system of SAM. So with that thought guys, please go subscribe, like the video, Look at my other videos, guys. I have a lot of different content that will benefit you guys. And if you want to support the channel and donate, there's a link down in the description below, which will help me a lot. So I appreciate all the support, guys. It really means a lot. And with that thought, let's get right into the video. So Meta had recently released this paper on Segment Anything. And it, this was very recently. And Segment Anything is a project as well as a new ability for AI to see the real world. The innovation in this project is that they have developed the generalized model for any image using AI vision, which is pretty amazing in this world, guys, allowing the model to see things in the real world through multi-model options. And this is something that we're going to be demonstrating in the demo later on in the video. But we're just going to go explain more about the abstract as well as the understanding how it actually works. The company had also eliminated the need for verticalized data to train vision models, making this technology accessible to a broader range of applications. And this is something that they've been working on continuously. They have developed a data output system in which they can, I believe, have 1 billion, I believe it's a billion in that figure, where they can use models as well as generalization to help it segment and help, help basically have the AI to have a vision so that it can do certain things with the application. The segmentation is a fundamental task in computer vision that identifies which image pixels belong to an object. If you can see in this example over here, we're able to demonstrate that the image is in a multi-level model and in this option, it identifies different things in the picture. And this is something that they have done by segmentation, which is identifying which image pixels belong to an object. And for an AI to do a certain thing like this, it is quite crucial and effective in a broad array of applications as this can be put out to large volumes of different companies as well as using for a lot of AI training infrastructures. And this is something that they've been able to do with also videos as well as images. And in this like example over here we we're able to see that it's detecting a book when it selects to a certain array it sees as well as identifies what the actual image is or what the actual object is and this is their gaze based object detection which is actually actually insane guys this is absolutely insane we're getting to a point where if robots or i'm just saying like if it was a robot for example it could be able to detect as well as understand the differentiation of what an object is to a human. It can detect certain things. Th this could be used for a lot of important things, security, as well as for basic menial tasks. And it just opens up a whole new door for a lot of different things. Meta has actually done an amazing job in which it has traditionally helped the accurate like segmentation model for specific tasks which usually requires a lot of it's usually like very specialized and requires technical experts to access such infrastructure but they have done this very very profoundly and you can see this multi-model example where it depicts different objects and vegetables that can help you identify certain things in the image and it says SAM allows users to segment objects with just a click or by interactively clicking points to include it or you can also exclude from an object. This model can be also prompted with bounding boxes. A second thing feature is that SAM can output multiple valid masks when faced with ambiguity about the object being segmented. 
and an important and necessary capability for solving segmentation in the real world, which will help robots or different AI infrastructures detecting certain things or objects. A third feature is that Sam can automatically find and mask all objects in an image, and this is something that we're going to see in the demo later on. Sam can generate an, a segmentation mask for a prompt in real time after pre-computing the image embedding, allowing for a real-time interaction with the model. And we're going to be seeing this in the paper a little while later, and that's how prompting segmentation actually works with Meta's new application. And this is just a data set of how many different different like drivers and images they were able to use this platform on. So I was able to get the accurate number and it was 11, I believe, 1 billion mass data sets. And this is something that you can see over here, which is not this is their demo. This is their data sets on 1 billion images. Obviously, not all 1 billion is uploaded. There's only 500k or 50k right now that are uploaded, but they have 1 billion images as their data set to actually prove as well as like basically applied their segmentation application and it just goes to show how well it is running with so many different images and over time with different adaptations as well as innovations to the application we're going to see a whole different adaptation as to how they're able to apply this into the real world and it just goes to show that this is a preview of 11 sorry this is 11 million image data sets but it's an overall creation of 1 billion matter mask data sets which has a different meaning as to how it like observes as well as segments different images now one amazing thing that we're going to be looking at is the actual task that sam does in finding as well as training its data sets to see as well as segment different things in an image. In this picture, we can see that it does, if you're able to click in, in the demo, we're gonna show this, but when you click on a certain object in an image, it basically outlines and max, masks the actual object in the picture. And what you can do is using the multi-model, you can objectify as well as exclude certain things in an image by segmenting, seg like using the segment tool to differ from different objects and basically this will help in like creating a difference in removing a certain mask of an object as well as having or adding a different mask in an object and you can see that in this image over here from a click of a button in the demo you're able to have a mask over a total object or you can have it specified to a smaller object in that particular mask and this is something that we'll check out later in the demo so the way the actual system works is this is just an overview a heavyweight image encoder outputs an image so you have an image here and it goes into a heavy a heavyweight image encoder outputs an image embedding that can then be efficiently acquired to or queued by a variety of inputs prompts and basically this is going to go into a system which is an image embedding and it goes into a system of input prompts to produce an object masks and it, you can see that over here and basically these prompts can help segment as well as show the actual system the different objects that are being put in the multi-model and for ambiguous prompts corresponding to more than one object sam can output multiple valid masks and associate associated confidence scores so we can see that it's able to segment different things and different objects in a model in this paper it goes more in depth to how the actual processing of the application works as well as the data sets to run it so i highly recommend that you read over it because it's quite lengthy but it, it, it puts in a lot of information as to what it actually does in terms of its training data differentiation of masks as well as using the data sets to basically provide the actual segmentation with the model. Now, in terms of actually doing the demo, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can actually use this on their website. So there's actually a collab Google link that you can actually use this to help mask as well as run the automation. And I'll leave this link in the description below. 
but before you actually run the actual program you want to save a copy in your drive before doing so so make sure you do that before you actually run it but i'm gonna just run it off meta's website because it's way more easier now in this case i'm going to show an example of this fox so what you can actually do is you can segment or use the actual application here and what you can do is find it can when you click everything it basically finds everything in the image and it segments different color codes as well as objects in the image and what you can do is get cutouts of certain things in this case i was playing around with it and i was getting a cutout of a certain area in which i want to dim out as well as add a certain thing in a certain area uh, i got a cut out of the dog in this case in other things you can also use the multi-mask method to actually see the different like layers that are used in this in this case you can see there's a layer of the grass that you can pull out if you want to remove an area you can do that by clicking on a certain area and these are some of the things that you can do guys if you want to cut out this thing you can click the one object tool and it will basically mask a certain object with this one dot. Obviously, if it requires more things to get certain dark spots, you can click another thing to help it do so. So this is just a tool in what you can do in helping you segment as well as get a better idea of how you can run it. And if you want to run better as well as get a better example of this actual tool, you can go on to segment anything, click on the demo, and you can play around with the actual application. And overall, this thing is going to be very beneficial. And in the future, SAM could also be used to help power applications in num numerous domains that require findings and segmenting any object in the image. Like I also mentioned, it could be using could be used in different ways, maybe in the future robots. I don't know. I keep thinking of robots as this is just an amazing tool, guys. But in summary, Meta Segment Anything Project and Research Paper have introduced a new task data set and model for image segmentation and it's basically going to eliminate the need for task specific modeling expertise training computing as well as custom data annotations now sam is going to be promptable a promptable model that is trained on diverse data and can adapt to specific tasks and it's going to be continuously working on releasing different tools and innovating the actual product so that it could be used on a wide like scale and that's basically a gist of today's video guys i'm gonna leave the link down for everything i believe it's great how meta actually released the research paper as well as the data code to actually run it on your own computer so i highly recommend that you check out all these links it's very inform informative inf sorry not informative it's very informative and it's very like interesting on how and what they're actually trying to accomplish so i hope you found this video interesting guys so please subscribe notify yourself in the description below for different uploads comment down whatever you want to see and with that thought guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time peace out fellas